Very, very seldom get to see material from this mine in South Africa, the Perring Mine. I'm not quite sure what the guys are mining for. Typical associations are not many. You'd find the quartz crystals, as you see here, lovely clarity. Then you'd have the dolomite crystals, the dusted maybe by slight, slight iron. And then typically you'd also find a, a spalerite. In this case, in this cavity, just under those dolomite crystals, you have some micro or tiny, tiny spalerite crystals, which actually from this deposit is not that common. I've often had material from Perring, but very seldom have I had... Um, uh, uh, with the, the spalerite uh, visible size of crystallization. Now, from an aesthetics point of view, pretty, pretty aesthetic, uh, 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 th aesthetically appealing material. Uh, from a photographic point of view, uh, how to photograph, there seems to be almost a bluishness to these guys, which I'm not quite sure of. Um, so from a display point of view, it would lie flat. The matrix would be like that. So it would lie flat. So a sideways view would be going around like this. And of course, you have this depreciated gray dolomite sections with the little dolomite crystals going all over them. And quartz. And then, of course, in this ledge, just under this ledge here, we have some uh, spalerite. From the Perring Mine in South Africa...